Okay, just for fun now, let's uh, show you how you run the hydraulics. You look over on the left side, you look down here, you got this lever. And that right there is in float. Bring this over, push it down. What do you do? Start raising the blade. Now, if you want to lower it, all you do is put it in the float, down it goes. Raise it up just a little bit if you want. Lower it just a little, you can use the other. As long as you pull it up, as long as it stays at the float, you're going to hold your position on your blade. The sun's kind of right there. But watch when I push it into float. Down we go. We're on the ground. There is your float. Okay, let's raise it up. Push her down here. Lift her up. All right, our blade. Let's let the light kind of adjust here. I'm going to reach over here onto the other um, lever on the opposite side of the of the uh, wheel, and that I push it down. We move to the right. We pull it back. There we go. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but if you wanted it to float, you could stick it into the float, which is right there. So, so you know, it's just like it works like the other side. Right, left, float. So now we're going to just push this into float. Down goes the blade. Sets down. Easy as pie. Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how we shut this off since I kind of cut it short earlier, but uh, you just push the throttle over, turn off your key. Now if you go past the zero, if you push it in and turn it, that gives you a park lights. You do that, you can pull your key out, and you come out in the morning, your battery will be dead because your lights are on. Don't do that. Put it in the O, off. Anyway, down here, you've got some more switches. These are for your lights and all that good stuff. So, there we have it.